We are talking about the bunchberry plant today. It grows to only 3 to 8 inches. And they can form colonies thanks to a what might be a rhizome, but everything has said a creeping root. The leaves are 1.5 to 3 inches long and are oval shaped. Now they even have a fall color. They turn purple to wine red in autumn. And now for a break in the action. Time for a quick pause in the action. Just a quick reminder for you to subscribe if you haven't, click the like button, leave me a comment, and share the video with someone in your family or your friend group. And now, back to your regular video. They have small flowers that you would probably miss if it weren't for the white bracts. They are found in groups surrounded by these large, white, showy bracts that are not flowers. If you've seen my poinsettia video, you know that bracts um, are just modified leaves. The bracts can even be pink at times. Flowers are pollinated by bees and flies, and those flowers eventually give rise to red berries. Now the seeds are dispersed by small mammals and birds, and these plants are native to Asia, Greenland, Alaska, Canada, and can even be found in states besides Alaska. They grow in a multitude of different habitats. They're, the climate that they like is cool and moist, but they can grow in full sun and in shade. They can even be found in coniferous forests, mixed forest and even in wetlands. Now this species is in the dogwood family and it can be a fairly common understory species. It is considered endangered in some states including my home state of Indiana. Now the berries are said to be edible and we will of course look at them at a later date as an edible and medicinal plant and with that I will see you in the next one.